Hey guys, today we are going to be playing the Balenciaga video game. Yes, they have a video game. It's called Age of Tomorrow, not to be confused with Edge of Tomorrow, which is what I keep wanting to call it. But no, that is the Tom Cruise Emily Blunt vehicle about aliens and coming back to life over and over. And it's wildly underrated. You should watch it. So why would Balenciaga even make a video game in the first place? Well, obviously it's because they can't have runway shows because they don't want, you know, the Kobe boys catching them, if you feel me. They don't want their designers and models dying because then they wouldn't be able to make oodles and buckets and oodles and buckets of cash hand over fist by selling you these clothes. Anyway, I've heard about this, but I honestly don't know anything about it. I don't even know how much of a game it's going to be or what's going to be in there. I've seen some like pictures from it that basically look like those TikTok like choose your fighter like outfit memes that are all over the place. So beyond that, I'm coming in just as clean as you are, but I have a feeling it is going to be a fun time and I, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. So let's check out the Balenciaga video game Age of Tomorrow. But before we get going, I've looked into it and a very, very tiny percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So it doesn't cost you anything. If you like the content I make, just click that subscribe button and I thank you profusely. Okay, we are in the Balenciaga game. Um, it gave me a prompt for it to move around with, you know, the WASD, the normal... Oh my God, the camera is not responsive, I have to say. <laughs> um, okay. But we can walk, that's, that's a plus. So it is a game in the sense that you can move around and look around and stuff and it's a 3D space, barely 3D. <laughs> the frame rate, this is not big budget frame rate. This, these ain't PS5 frame rates here, okay? So we've walked in and it is like a futuristic Balenciaga showroom. There's some bean bags for us to chill out on and do mescaline. Um, we've got clothes right in front of us that we can look at. We've got this kind of like smiley knit Raph Simmons type of thing. A denim jacket with a kind of like Sakai looking kind of camo pattern. Looks like a pair of double pants, like, oh, shirt and pants to get, okay. So there's a pair of jeans and a checkered shirt. And we have some shoes down there, some yellow ass shoes. Those look like the new expanders, the Go-Go Gadget Boys. Whoa, whoa, restricted? Whoa, I'm not allowed to go. I just want to look at the clothes. Listen, they probably, they see a young guy like me. They probably think I'm a shoplifter. I'm not a shoplifter. Let me in. I'm not a rioter. I'm not going to break in and loot your store. Balenciaga. I don't know if you saw that they were like boarding up their spots in California during the rioting because they were so scared of the of the protesters. Oh my God, <laughs> the controls are rough, you guys. We've we've looked at three pieces of clothes. That looks like a dirty mattress, you guys. I don't know. I don't want to know what Demon has been doing on this mattress here. Okay. Okay, we got more clothes, but these are lady clothes. That's a dress, okay? I'm not Harry Styles. I don't wear dresses, Dimna. Okay, we've got now the, the smiley face in a t-shirt. That's a little bit stale to me. I feel like everybody has done like a smiley motif. This one's dripping. That's not like original enough for me, but okay. And now we've got another expander over here, but it's in 3D. You know, I do really appreciate this, actually. Seeing it in 3D is actually really helpful to understand what this shoe is all about. Add to account. Can I add it to account? So I can't actually do anything so far. I can just walk around and look at stuff. That's nice. Shiny track pants, MC Hammer, watch out. Here we come with our Balenciaga. So this, like, yellow bar comes up on the left side. Like, I can't turn around. The game's, it's limited. It's, it's limited, okay? There's certain things it don't want you to do. I just wanna play ping pong, Dimna. Oh, hello, fellow Balenciaga customer. Fellow Balenciaga enthusiast. Oh, and you've got a Balenciaga hat on and a Balenciaga turtle. Are you, are you a uh, worker here? Are you gonna help me out? You look very stylish. Um, let me know if you wanna take some of my money. Ooh, puffer coat, puffer coat, puffer coat. Okay, you know, it's got this lacquered Montclair effect um, logo on there. It's very, like, sportswear style. 
even it's a bit less fashiony than most Balenciaga, very like ready to wear style, but that's fine. Listen, you guys, where are the workers? You haven't even cleaned up after the customers that came through. They just left their stuff here. I could steal this. Maybe I am a shoplifter, Demna. You don't know. So this is ripped to hell. I am curious if that's a real style because that's like super extra crazy distressed, like beyond normal distress levels, okay? It's making me feel very distressed. So I'm seeing some of the same clothes repeated, like here's this dress again. I'm wondering if we're gonna get new stuff here. What is that? I love, I love you with a little world. That graphic is very like Daniel Johnston. Again, not really doing it for me. Oh my God. This may be one of the creepiest people I've seen in my entire life. Oh my god, are we in a horror game? Is this like Guillermo del Toro's Balenciaga, the video game? Let me out of here. Yellow bars, it won't even let... Ah! Okay, so he's wearing like the chainmail again. Is this actually something they're going to be selling? Like, are we going to have like Medieval Knight Chic? Is it coming back as if it was ever there in the first place? Is it coming in the first place? We'll have to wait and see. Um, this jacket, it's kind of like a security guard, like crossing guard jacket, very Dimna, very Balenciaga, of course. I can't even move. Is he using his zombie powers on me? Let me walk past you. You're creeping me out. Okay. Woo! Waterfalls calming me down. We've got another customer over here. He's texting though. Look at, you've got all this Balenciaga product all around. Why don't you look at it instead of looking at your phone, you, you demon, you Instagram demon. Probably an influencer. Ugh. And then we got a boot right here, another shoe. I can't, speed trainer? What is that? Let me move. <laughs> I can't move. Um, okay, BB on the top, speed. 3.0 so this is a new speed trainer okay this is the first like this is the most exciting thing i've seen in this video game so far this is something speed trainers are fucking massive so a new speed trainer with an actually differentiated silhouette than the other updated one they did that wasn't really anything this is really interesting and i appreciate it oh and a nice nice kind of derby boot with a pointed toe that's cool this is some cool stuff guys Creepy walkway in the future with Balenciaga, Dimna Vesalia's video game. That's the theme song. I made it for them, but they didn't want it. I don't know why. Taking selfies. Did you guys see that? She just took a selfie. There's not even any Balenciaga around, okay? You're just in the great outdoors. Why take pictures of the great outdoors when you got Balenciaga right around the corner? All right, you're wearing a red dress that's like very more like gucci alessandro michele to me um it's cool though it's kind of actually like margella a little bit also the now chainmail heels and um crazy sunglasses super futuristic sunglasses and a backpack nasa backpack balenciaga is this for real is this one of the products or is that just what they styled her it, it looks like all these are Balenciaga products. So NASA, okay, NASA collabs with brands are so overdone. Like I think Heron Preston did some NASA stuff. A bunch of like lower tier brands of the world have done NASA collaborations. That is not what the world needs right now. I, I know that Balenciaga loves playing with futuristic stuff, but that ain't it. All right, so I just realized we do have a line that we were supposed to be following, I assume. Um, I'm a free spirit. I don't do what I'm told, but I guess if you really want me to. These people have like glowing things under them. I feel like they're like NPCs that I'm supposed to be able to interact with, but they just kind of stand there. The faces are like hyper realistic for such a like low budget game. Like they're kind of, they're all kind of creepy, not just the zombie guy. Okay, the shirt is sewn on to the pants. That's pretty cool. Another one of the jackets, a t shirt. And the yellow bar won't let me look at the t-shirt. Oh, it's another I love you shirt. Okay. The lighting is bad. Um, more of the track pants. Like I'm not, all the stuff on the walls is the same. Okay, we got a new shirt over here. If the, I'm jittering over to this guy. Um, hello. Ooh, so this is kind of like, it reminds me of a Y Project. 
Um, they like to do a lot of stuff like that. I really like the branding on that. And you've got, so it's like a long sleeve sweatshirt with like a collared shirt stitched onto the front of it. That's, um, that's really cool. I'm really into that. And he's got this like perforated belt and a pair of shorts over a pair of really baggy like Jinko jeans. Um, I don't love as much. So we're gonna, we're gonna move on from that. Oh, and we've got another pair of the new speed trainers down there. Um, I actually really like those. I'm already bracing myself for the 900 fucking dollar hit. I'm about to take on those when I buy them for myself. Gotta start saving. Gotta hope I get a lot of Christmas money from my rich, rich distant relatives. Oh my God, I'm just transporting around. The controls, very intuitive, top notch stuff. 10 out of 10 video game, IGN reviewed. New for spring, summer 2022. Uh, Balenciaga fire extinguishers, all in chrome. Okay, we've got a door. What does the door hold? What secrets does the door hold for us? Open, whoa. Zombie, zombie. <gasps> what just happened? Zone two? There's multiple zones? My mind is blown. Demna? Demna, you're a regular video game designer, Demna Vesalia. What is this? Whew. Here we go. Here we go. So we've got, like, now we're outside. We've got futuristic motorbikes. Suddenly, okay, we're in Cyberpunk 2077. I get it. It's a cross-promotional effort. Okay, we're going to get on the motorbike. Restricted, this isn't even a Balenciaga store. I can't even steal from over here. Oh, we got a Balenciaga billboard up there with that crazy oversized puffer coat. My Lord, it's graphics stellar, not pixelated at all. Those things are insane. I can't believe they're gonna try and sell those. Oh, you're, you're cool. You're too cool for school with your uh, black, I almost said lip polish. With your black lip polish, get out of my way. Ooh, okay. What do you got? Look over here. Don't look at him. Look at her. No, don't look at him. That's really good styling. No, not him. What? <laughs> okay. That's, I like the styling of that coat with that turtleneck. And now, okay, we can look at the guy now, game. I know you want me to. Not at the... This game is infuriating. So this is like one of the oversized suit styles that Demna does a lot. Um, this one's actually super stylish. I like it a lot. Um, it's really easy to make it look just kind of like homeless, but kind of like homeless chic in this sense. Boring. You clearly have not been shopping at Balenciaga, even though I'm sure that is Balenciaga. What do we got here? Sparkly, furry? Sparkly? I can't even tell what this is. Let me get close to you. It's like a confetti jacket. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I don't un understand. I don't know if you can hear this music getting picked up through my mic. Hold on. Let me let me lean into it, okay? Is that a roach? Is that a papa roach? The bee? This is B834. Just one of our fleet of over 200,000 pollinator drones. So now suddenly we are in Black Mirror. You're walking into him. He's wearing Balenciaga. That stuff's expensive. Don't walk into him. What is... Are those supposed to be his abs underneath? Or is it like... What is happening in this guy's stomach? I don't understand. This is not the new Balenciaga logo. They've done this shirt before. Um, about like new Balenciaga logo out now. I've always thought it's kind of lame, that design. Um, but I, I get some people like it. Ooh, here we go. Another confetti boy. Confetti boy, confetti boy. Purple confetti boy. Whoa, with flowers. This is like the Dippin' Dots duvet jacket. That's what I'm calling you. Sandals. Sandal. No, let me look at your sandals. You're wearing sandals out on the street? Disgusting. And sweatpants. Okay. Obviously, coronavirus has hit this person hard. Okay? I don't want to get too close to you. Oh, we're getting picked up. 
loading into zone three. I never in my life imagined that there would be three zones to this bad boy, but here we are. Okay, another outdoor biome, as they say. And now we've got a red line. Okay, it's not blue anymore. Jesus. <laughs> this zone is a bit more boring to me. There's a little restaurant. I can't go into the restaurant. I'm hungry, Dina. I want to get a personal pizza. <sighs> Ooh, I like this. Okay. A super distressed knit hoodie combo, maybe? Or maybe it's just a hoodie under a distressed knit, but I really like that. The pants are bad. Um, but that's fine. I've never been a huge fan of Balenciaga pants. Rust, I can't, I need to take a piss. You haven't provided me with any bathroom, so I was going to go piss in the alleyway, Dimna. I guess I'll just piss on your clothes instead. Game over! That was the end? I don't think you can even really call that a video game. It's more of just like a virtual experience. Like, everywhere I've read about it, they've been calling it a video game. Um, and I just don't think you really should. Well, I'm actually definitely going to be calling it a video game in the title of this video because that's what everyone's calling it. So I guess I just hate myself. Anyway, that was truly an experience. On the one hand, it is a really cool way to experience a new collection. Rather, even better in some ways than seeing video of it on a runway. Like you can really walk around it and see it in all three dimensions. And that's really cool to me. But on the other hand, like it didn't perform well. Like even if they just fixed that up, it would have been so much better. Like instead of making it a browser game, make it something that you just have to download, right? It's not that hard. People will still do it. It'll still be great. Like the performance issues made it honestly really hard to enjoy sometimes, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I experienced it. I'm glad that you experienced it with me and I had a good time. So thank you. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. It was a really different one, one that we probably won't be doing again anytime soon because I doubt anyone else is going to be making fashion collection video games. So take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.